that our party has been too often embroiled in bitter and on occasions totally unnecessary squabbles, costing us seats in legislative and gubernatorial elections. These never should have happened. We are here to make sure such occurrences do not happen again. We must now ensure regular consultations between the party and the governments. I am a firm believer in the doctrine of the separation of powers, which is fundamental to our constitutional democracy. But our practice should be a harmonious check and balances devoid of bitterness and petty rivalry. As one government, we must further align ourselves and be alive to our electoral promises. We need to nurture our party, which is a platform that will take us and our country forward. Your Excellencies, Distinguished Senate President, Right Honorable Speaker, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, I am placing great faith in this consultative committee to help improve our governance and achievements to the people of Nigeria. I expect regular feedback on your activities and I am, as always, ready to lead and find... Uh, let me say that the specific function of this uh, consultative forum is to ensure that the, the three institutions, the party, the legislature, and the executive, work together, consult uh, continuously, on almost all major issues, let me say major issues, that require legislation and even policy, that when we're able to sit and discuss and probably even debate uh, the issues, such issues will be richer and will be more beneficial to citizens. The synergy, the partnership, the consultation, and of course the coordination involved will see a better relationship between the legislature and the executive arm of government. We have had situations which I think were extreme when um, the legislature and the executive never uh, agreed on anything. We, we believe that the legislature and the executive don't have to agree on everything, but they must have that feeling that there is interdependence in their functions and roles. And until they realize there is that interdependence, there will always be problems. Because the separation of powers is simply to ensure that none becomes a terror. You have an executive that is not oversighted by the legislature, you can have a problem in your hands. But even the legislature itself sometimes is checkmated by the judiciary to some extent. Maybe when a law is passed and the judiciary feels otherwise, they can declare such a law null and void. But I believe that this consultative forum is going to add value to governance in Nigeria. Coming to your second leg of the question, that um, recently we had some appointees on the executive side working out or maybe saying things. I believe that that should be the end of it. We believe that we should work together. Mr. President made it very clear that he is not going to accept or tolerate any of his appointees doing things that are not respectable, things that have no dignity, 
to the National Assembly. For us in the National Assembly, I think what has happened has happened. And I pray that nobody goes to the National Assembly to do the kind of thing that some people did before. Because that will be disrespect to the President and of course abuse to, of the National Assembly. And all, we are not going to tolerate that. I believe that that has happened and it will not happen again. Because anyone who wants to see Nigeria and Nigerians served will ensure that this quantitative forum continues to produce the kind of um, results and outcomes that we dream that would make Nigeria better in terms of governance. Thank you.